We're taking you to our favorite farmer's market. Today on Hawaii Time. Welcome back to On Hawaii Time, where we bring you weekly travel tips, island facts, and history while we adventure around the Hawaiian Islands, specifically our home island of Kauai. Where we vacation 365 days a year. Today we are at the Community Market, located in Lahui. It is every Saturday from 9.30 to 1 p.m. And we were also invited to take the Tasting Kauai Tour, but we'll talk about that later in the video. That's right, and all we need you to do is to relax and unwind. You're, You're on, on Hawaii, Hawaii Time. time. Sugar loaf pineapple. Good here, love. Yeah, it's uh, it's all uh, white pineapple, and it's less acidic. So there's almost no acid in it. You can eat it. A lot less fibrous. You can eat it all the way to the core. Amazing. And they're grown in Molawa. They got ocean view. <laughs> Killer. There's no dairy, no sugar. Pure white pineapple, no dairy. We grow. That's incredible. And we do not. about the pale. Okay. I love making pale. I'll go fruit. The 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 uh, non-green. Okay, the sunrise. The sunrise for him. Um, Alright, so we stopped off at Hawaiian Island, Island juice, juice and these are one all of the first things I started fruit with, or vegetable uh, smoothies. Uh, There's no nothing uh, else uh, added to it. This uh, one's the sunrise and this one is called Green Me Up. This is the one I chose. It has kale, mint, uh, I forgot the other ingredients, but it's very it's delicious. Iced tea made out of uh, hibiscus. Can you taste uh, like the, the greens or is it a good one? It's a really good one, yeah. It doesn't taste vegetable-y at all. It's very sweet. It has pineapple in it, I can taste that. And you can taste a hint of mint in it. My dishes are inspired by mainly things that we have growing year-round, like all of our greens and lime. It's not quite year-round, but we're lucky to have a lot of it. And then I have a squash spread that's made with like four different varieties of squash, depending on what's available with our local farmers, and an eggplant spread that's always available year-round also. And these both have uh, macadamia nuts instead of walnuts. There's the eggplant, yeah. squash, and then hummus. Super greens hummus. This one does not have... Oh, this, uh, this is definitely uh, approved by my trainer to eat. I'm sure of it. Jason, I can have this right now. <laughs> because I'm going to. I'm <laughs> so good. Um, this is my company, Wabi Sabi. Uh, and it means, um, it's Japanese uh, to mean um, like to find beauty and imperfection and things that are like rustic or aging. Or um, so what we have for you is a portobello bun mee sandwich. It's, uh, it's a Vietnamese style sandwich. They're colonized by the French, so that's why uh, they have a lot of French influence in their food. So much flavor. Oh, no. oh thank you. Really? There's all kinds of mystery so flavors so in there, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only place you can get this banh mi sandwich is here at the farmer's market, and it is so delicious. You have to come here and try it. Yeah. All right, so for me, uh, that was an incredible sandwich. So much flavor that was in it. 
What's pretty amazing though is the uh, the chef is originally from here. Uh, he went to school right at K KCC, which is the college just behind us. Uh, his journeys took him with Aspen to Portland. Uh, he came back, worked in the restaurant industry here, decided he wanted to do his own thing. And he's tearing it up. That's an incredible sandwich. If you don't hit the marketplace here on Saturdays and get that sandwich, you're definitely missing out on your trip. That's for sure. If you've never had an Ono Pop, Ono means delicious in Hawaiian. These are handmade Hawaiian popsicles made here in Hawaii. What we do is we buy our ingredients directly from these local farmers. My wife makes over 75 flavors of frozen pops throughout the year that are all natural and nothing artificial. But we're also trying to do something about agricultural sustainability. I got the chocolate apple banana. Oh, we did the free silk. And Brody got the lily koi cream, right? Is that what it is? Thank you very much. Thank you. I mean, I got the lily koi cream and Brody got the chocolate apple <laughs> banana. So what a lot of people don't realize is 90% of our produce is actually shipped here to Kauai. So let's think about that for a moment. It sits in California, then it gets onto a boat, then it's shipped across the ocean, then it gets to Oahu where it sits in Oahu for maybe a day or two, and then it's finally brought over here to the island of Kauai. 10% of our produce comes right from the island. One of the only places that you can get that produce is at farmer's markets just like this. So when you're here on Kauai, you definitely want to try that freshness of all the produce that you can get. And the fruit here, absolutely incredible. We want to hear from you guys. Go ahead and leave down in the comments below the farmer's markets that you visited and which ones are your favorite and why. We just finished up at the farmer's market, the first stop on the tour, and now we're headed over to Verde. So this tour is self-driven. You're not gonna get into a van and have somebody drive you around. So keep that in mind. When you come to the farmer's market, you're gonna park, meet them up in the front, and then do your tour there. Then you get back in the car and drive to the next location, which for us now is Verde, a Mexican restaurant that Brody and I actually go to often. Probably eat there once or twice a week sometimes. Also Mexican bun, fresh bun. Oh, yeah? And they use um, all local macaroni beans. We have reached our final stop on the Taste of Kauai tour. We're going to the Kauai Beer Company. It's located on Rice Street in the heart of Lahui. Every Thursday night, they do a truck stop Thursday here at the Kauai Beer Company. Two different local food trucks come in. You can order your food at the food truck, go in, have some drinks. It's, it's a super fun thing to do. It's very, very popular, so always come early. Uh, always come early. You're not going to get a seat, and it's a different uh, food trucks uh, every, every week, so it's pretty amazing. Uh, but we're going to go check out and see what they got in there today. straw from our last video, Waikomo Shave Ice. If you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and I'll link it up in the upper right hand corner. Go ahead and check that out. But at Waikomo Shave Ice, we got the extra special special and it came with a bowl and a spoon and a straw. And so I brought it with me today and Brody used it for his coconut instead of getting I a did. plastic straw. How about that? Five dollars for a coconut. It's not bad. <laughs> That's going to conclude our day of uh, introducing you guys to the farmer's market here in Lahui. We also want to touch a little bit more on the Tasting Kauai tour that we did. It's a ground tour. Uh, like we mentioned in the video, it is a self-driven tour. So when you show up here, we would suggest that you get to the farmer's market maybe a half hour early before your tour begins. That way you can walk around the market and kind of take a look at all of the different things that 
people are selling or that's available because during the tour they're going to kind of push you on to the there's specific spots that they're going to take you to and time is of the essence so you don't want to if you don't want to drag your tour out any longer than you have to come to the farmers market early check it out and then be ready to go on that tour that's right because there is a, a lot of vendors that are here uh, at this marketplace and all the other marketplaces that are you, you want to definitely have the time to go up and and talk to them about their product because it is from Kauai and it's very important for to, to a lot of people I know it's important to me to be able to go through and just talk to the uh, the vendors and see what they have where it all comes from how do they make it and getting here early like Autumn says is gonna give you that time to do it. so one of the main I guess the main purposes or the main um, draw to the tasting Kauai tour is introducing people to farm to table and there are a lot of restaurants on Kauai that do farm to table you can probably google that I guess and maybe yeah. restaurants will come up I'm not quite sure if anybody has any um, additional information leave it in the comments below uh, but we did visit one of our very favorite restaurants that is farm to table during the tour today and that was Verde yeah we love Verde if the Kauai Community Market is something you think you would enjoy, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and it's time for you to show us some aloha and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notifications of our videos posted each week. And with that said, we leave you with aloha. Always remember to relax and unwind. You're, You're on, on Hawaii, Hawaii time. time.